Plants vs Zombies was very huge during, during the 2010s, when the App Store was popular as hell. Shit, there was a time where people thought that, that mobile gaming would take over regular gaming. Ha, remember that? All because we decided to get a free game that lets you throw ice down some plumber's crack. Oh, wait, what? Plants vs Zombies was one of those games and became really popular, so there was bound to be a sequel, with EA picking it up, and they decided to make a shooter. With Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, a nod to Modern Warfare, and it actually turned out good with the original, with Garden Warfare 2 being amazing. So let's dive into Garden Warfare. Why everything that's supposed to be bad make me feel so good? Everything they told me not to was- Now the original Garden Warfare dropped in 2014. Ah yes, the year of Call of Duty lobbies. And for a shooter, it's actually pretty fun. It kind of works like a class shooter with the pea shooter being a shooter, the flower being a healer, the cactus being a shooter, the chomper being able to eat people alive. Then there's Crazy Dave. It's uh, been a contamination. For the zombies, you got the foot soldier, who's a shooter, obviously, an engineer who supports the team and also has a launcher. You have the scientist who heals the team, all star who's a football player who's like a tank, and Dr. Zomboss, he's basically the boss. The game modes includes Garden Warfare, playing as the plants defending the plant, kind of like how the original was, but in 3D. You got a King of the Hill type mode, where you defend plants from their garden, from the insurgent zombies. Team Vanquish, a classic team deathmatch thing, with a twist of revival takeaway points. Ver Gnome Bomb, which is basically hot potato. Taco Bandit, Crazy Dave has set up his taco stand in zombie territory. Zomboss is trying to eat lunch and skips out on the bill. As a zombie, it's your job to push through the reinforcements and plants defense. Grab the taco and make it back to Dr. Zomboss' spaceship in one piece. And that's all of the game modes, where characters have special abilities like based off their class. It was pretty fun. Modern Warfare 2 adding more characters and a better hub menu than... But then, EA decided to make a game no one cared about. The third game is almost the exact same, basically the exact same, but the microtransactions are actually awful. Oh yeah, don't even think about getting cool stuff this year, cause you basically got to pay for that. Cause it wouldn't be EA game without microtransactions. I will say the game is nice graphic wise. And, and there's a new mode where there's like a free roam mode for both plants versus zombies. They still keep the PvP like the original Garden Garden often like your stuff in the other games, but this game is mostly free roam based. And let me tell you, it doesn't really work that well. Like you have quests they can do which are really boring. Like it's basically go here, shoot enemy, come back, go through a bunch of dialogue, and then you're pretty much done. And also they removed variations, which in the previous games made your characters actually look cool. Instead, having them look like this all the time. We got upgrades. In the free roam mode, you get the same setup as Garden Warfare 2, along with you being able to attack other players casually. And also, you know how I was talking about new characters? Yeah, you can't play them unless you you pull out the wallet. Overall, it's just a mid game and it focuses a bit more on free roam rather than the PvP, which actually, the PvP was actually the best part of this game. I really wish it was just more PvP focused. And yeah, this game died a year after it was made, so is it really a surprise? If I would love to see them make like a Garden Warfare 3 and have it be more PvP focused, like kind of how Garden Warfare 2 was. A new version of this game would work, just not like being free roam focused. I get what they're trying to do, but it just didn't work.